Hello everyone. Today's episode of Misadventures in Travel is about the time that we got struck with heat in Las Vegas. Okay, we went to Las Vegas for some reason in August. I don't know what we were thinking, but apparently that's when we could go and so we decided to take a trip to Las Vegas in the summer. Um, it was my dad, me, my husband, my two oldest kids, who were at the time three, Megan was three, and Andrew was, hmm, must have been ten, and yeah, I think about ten, and I was in my first trimester of pregnancy with Ben, so I, I was pregnant, but I don't think I was showing it or anything. Okay, so we um, got there by two modes of transportation. Megan and I, and the Bambino, flew, probably because I wanted to be able to get there quickly and back quickly because I had a little three-year-old with me and I was pregnant. My dad, my husband, and Andrew took Amtrak. So, and if I remember right, they left before us and they got there first. So, I think we got there on the same day. They might have got there one day before. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, um, we got there like within a day of each other. And then Megan and I flew. And then we did the same thing going home. Megan and I flew home. They took the train home. Okay. There's basically th three things I want to tell you about how we... We had a very nice trip for the most part. Um, the highlight for me, I remember, I really loved the... Um, the water, the fountain show at the Bellagio. I just thought that was beautiful. I think we went and watched it like three times. Um, we went to a Cirque du Soleil show. We, you know, ate out quite a bit. We're not gamblers, so we didn't really, I don't think we did anything in the casinos at all. Um, we, we basically went, like, went up and down the strip and visited all the big resorts and just checked them all out. Um, I don't remember. We rode the monorail, I remember one time. Uh... I don't remember that we swam in the pool, which um, we stayed at the MGM Grand, which had a very nice pool and a lazy river and all that. And we also really liked the lions, um, seeing the lions that are inside the MGM Grand. And I remember we went to the, um, who's the magicians that have the tigers um, at one of the resorts. We went and saw that. <laughs> um, so, you know, nothing real intensive. A lot of just like looking around at stuff. And I don't remember how long we were there. Four days, five, I don't know. Um, oh, I do remember we were there on my birthday. So yeah, it was definitely August because I remember getting like a candle and something on my birthday. Um, we, the three things that happened that we were really affected by the heat. Okay, number one was poor little Megan, who was three, got... I don't know if it was heat stroke, but she got really sick from the heat. It was very hot. <laughs> um, she uh, was very lethargic. She got like cool to the touch and she was vomiting. She was throwing up really bad and she just couldn't stop. And so we had to like leave her behind a couple times um, in the hotel room at the MGM Grand and like like we would kind of take turns staying with her so she could just lay on the bed and be in the air conditioning. We gave her like cool baths and stuff like that because she just got really sick. Um, after I don't know how long, we actually walked down the street to a pharmacy and we talked to the pharmacist and said, you know, my daughter's really sick. What can we do? And he gave us this syrup stuff that helps you stop throwing up so at least she wouldn't get more dehydrated and we were able to get some of that into her and then she she got better after that um mainly as long as we kept her in the air conditioning she was okay but i think at the beginning of the trip we had done a lot more outside like we'd walked from place to place outside and we had um gone in the pool and stuff and so i think she just got too much sun but um the other thing that we bought at that pharmacy was we bought this little fan little compact square fan, but that thing is a trooper. We still have that fan, it's up there in the closet, and we take it with us on every trip we go on. It's very small, 
but it's the perfect amount of white noise and um, it's perfect for like giving us the perfect amount of white noise that we need in a hotel so we can sleep because we all have fans in our bedrooms and so we're used to having that sound and so when we travel we really need that and some hotels do have fans if you ask but not all of them and you can't get a fan like well maybe you can I don't know I never asked but um, we used it we took it on our cruises we we take it when we go on road trips I put it in the suitcase like we actually like leave a little space in the suitcase if we're gonna fly so that we can take our fan with us. <laughs> we love that fan. So we've had that fan for 11 years and have used it ever since and it's still in perfect condition. So that's the other thing that we bought. So that was the one thing that happened from the heat. Then the second and third things happened basically at the end of the trip at the same time. But we didn't know about them until later because we were not together. Okay, the first thing was, well, whatever. The boys before they got their train back to home um, went to Hoover Dam and did the tour of Hoover Dam and they told me later later that there was a woman on the tour who fainted <laughs> from the heat and you know they had to like bring the paramedics or whatever to help her because she got so hot you know on the tour that she fainted so that was the other thing and then the other thing was um, Megan and I got on our plane to go home and it was it must have been one of those planes where it was three seats on one side and three seats on the other side and I remember I put I think I put Megan on the aisle and I was in the middle no Megan was on the window I was in the middle and this man was on the aisle next to me young guy maybe like late 20s, okay? And we had a significant delay in taking off. We were on the tarmac forever. I think it was like two hours. It was a long time. And um, both Megan and this man fell asleep before we took off. And I remember being really frustrated because somehow the timing of the flight I think it was in the evening and like pretty late and I was actually hoping that Megan would fall asleep and that she would sleep through the whole flight and the flight was only going to be like two and a half hours or whatever and so you know Las Vegas to Minneapolis maybe three and so I was like really like she hadn't felt good and I'm like okay this will be great we'll get in the plane and she'll fall asleep on the flight she'll sleep the whole way home this will be great but she fell asleep as soon as we got on the plane. And I was really frustrated because I was like, shoot, I don't want her to wake up right when we take off. And then she'll be awake the whole flight. Now I've got to entertain her and keep her from, you know, fussing. And I don't remember if she did wake up. I think she still slept. I think she woke up when we took off, but I think I like gave her a snack or something. And then she fell back asleep again. Because I don't remember having trouble with her on the flight. Um, my kids have always all been really good flyers. I've never had really any issues with my kids with behavior on planes or anything. They're all very good about it, keeping themselves entertained. I pack good. I've had other passengers compliment me that I, you know, I talk to my kids. I'm engaged with them. I pack lots of stuff in their little travel backpack that they have, you know, books and puzzles and stuff to watch and all that. So they, they're fine. But anyway, um, the guy next to me, had fallen asleep and he was zonked for the whole time we were waiting to take off. Here is what the deal was with why we couldn't take off. It was so hot. <laughs> Remember, Las Vegas in August. <laughs> it was so hot that the pilot explained to us that the runway had melted. <laughs> the tar of the runway or whatever. Aren't they concrete? I don't know. He said it was so hot that it was not safe for the plane to take off because the the runway was too soft. That's what he told us. And so they were like waiting for the sun to set, I think was the deal. And we kept having to switch sides of the airport. Like he's like, okay, we're going to go try over here because there's some shade or something. And maybe it'll be cooler over there. And then we'd move the plane over there. And we'd sit there for another half hour and he'd go, okay, no, it's still too hot over here. We're going to try over here now. And that's what we did like the whole like, time. And it was like, it was like two hours. 
And he kept saying, we're just waiting for the temperatures to cool. We're waiting for the temperature of the runway to stabilize or something. I'd never heard of such a thing. And um, finally, like, I think the sun had to go down. And finally, it got cool enough that we could take off. And he said it was the runway, but I can't help but think maybe it had something to do with the, you know, the ability of the plane to take off in that heat, like the engines or something. I don't know. But anyway, it was a long time. So everybody's like, finally, we're like second in line to take off and we're like going to take off any minute. And the guy next to me woke up and got up and went to the bathroom. And I thought the flight attendant was going to kill him. She like ran at him like a missile. Like, sir, you can't get out of your seat. <laughs> she was so mad because if you get out of your seat, they can't take off. You have to be sitting and you have to be buckled. And so she like freaked out because, and I think he, he got into the bathroom. Thankfully, he obviously just had to pee because he came back out pretty quickly and she like jerked him back and stuck him in his seat. And she's like, don't move. And so everybody around us was like so mad at this guy because they thought, you know, we'd waited so long to take off and we were already so delayed. And we thought, oh man, we're going to get delayed again because this idiot got up and went to the bathroom. But anyway, I don't think he got up the rest of the flight. <laughs> So anyway, that was my story of dealing with the heat on our trip to Las Vegas in August. And my tip for you for this one would be don't go to Las Vegas in August. <laughs> it's really, really hot. I mean, we still had a very enjoyable time. But um, any time that you travel anywhere where there's heat, which unfortunately is a lot of the time now. I mean, with climate change and everything, pretty much the whole world's just a big furnace. <laughs> so I don't know. What are you going to do? We're all just going to have to adapt. But um that was kind of just a funny one. So um, enjoy uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll join me for my next one. I think I have three or four more of these to do. And I thank you for watching and hit the subscribe and the notification button and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.